here, Kili Kranke, and we're going to cut across the dunes there and then go up along the Arab River. Kalahari tented camp. There's no fence but to the outside like with the rest camps. This gate gets closed and that's your barrier to the outside. And then this here is your view. There's the main part of the tent. These are safari tents, and while I wouldn't call them luxury, they certainly are comfortable. We had the honeymoon tent for the first night, and then our second night was a standard tent. That's just what we were able to book. But a very, very comfortable tent. The lights are powered by solar power, and the water and cooking is gas. So there are no charging points for your devices but you can take those down to Matamata Mata Rest Camp Reception. They'll gladly do it for you. So we're making a little bit of a fire. Is it for a dry fire with a view? A bit of a cloudburst, so we can still dry. As I said, it's completely unfenced. So below this low wall is the game reserve and all its residents. The swimming pool was unusable. It was in a very poor state. They did say that they were waiting for parts, and I understand it's not easy to get in such a remote place, but it was disappointing. It was really, really hot. This lioness had her cubs hidden under a bush barely 150 meters from our tent. She was very stressed when this male came prowling around. Male lions do kill cubs that are not theirs, so I don't know whether this was perhaps not the father of these cubs. Shortly afterwards we saw her moving one cub away. Hopefully she moved the other one and that they were both safe. We've generally had quite good game viewing along the Arb River. It wasn't particularly spectacular this particular morning. We saw this spur. Looks like a cat. I'm not sure. Can't be sure. Maybe somebody can help us out in the comments. And there was this pair of black-backed jackals. I always enjoy watching them. They're so active and it's got so much character. And the bird life in the Kalahari is always spectacular. We didn't encounter much in the way of the big predators on this specific outing. Some antelope, but we did come across this cheetah sitting on a ridge. Just above that bush at the top of the ridge is a cheetah. This is the kind of traffic jam that it's caused. And then there are the Kremsbok over there. There are a couple of young ones. We are right in between that cheetah and its potential meal. Might go hungry today because of this which is us as well our next and final stop of this trip was at Noso breast camp you can see a link to that video up above please do like and please do subscribe if you've enjoyed these videos really do appreciate your subscriptions and your comments catch you next time